so for a little bit i i had been going around so for anyone that takes notes um there are a ton of ways to keep track of notes to do lists and things like that so for a while i forgot that i had actually had well i knew i had it but i just keep forgetting about it so there's this one cool utility in Vim that you can basically set up, and it's Vim Wiki. So what basically this does is it's a way that you can organize your notes and things inside of OVim. So it creates a folder, it's .vimwiki, and then it has an index.wiki and it keeps track of stuff. You have a couple options for, oh, what is it? Markdown syntax. So you can basically go in and set your syntax to whatever you need. <clears throat> so at vimwiki.github.io, they basically show it off. They've kind of got like a few screenshots from it and things like that, they have basically your quick start. And from there, it sends you into the help, I believe, somewhere. So yeah, hvimwiki for everything else you need. So we can see I've basically got my basics here. So we can go into a subject with enter, and then we can go in further and then backspace is mapped to go back up in a category and things like that. So you've got basic navigation in it. You've got, let me open up that one. So you've got your, all, a bunch of your standard markdown stuff really. And I haven't kept track of too much in here, but I have reorganized a little bit. So you obviously have multiple levels that you can go down. So you can have a lit one, an index file that goes to different categories and those different categories have lists and notes and things that link to other things. So if we go into hvimwiki, you can see it basically pulls up this whole help thing. And the documentation for vimwiki is pretty well laid out i really appreciate how they've done this so if we go down here you can see like oh um it's got a table thing so we can go into our command and we can go vim wiki table and if we just put this in like it says here it just puts in five columns and two rows but we can give it like a four by four and what four space four and what it does is it creates a four cell by four cell table of course you've got the title up here and then down here so you could use that to create we could go in and do the same thing except with only four columns and then after that you could add rows as you need it so we can go in and insert hello and then it auto formats it and then i believe come on so yeah it adds in more rows as you create them so you can sit there and go through and do that and create tables so the help here basically goes through and like documents everything you need to start up basically do the wiki um the page here will basically help you get started um it doesn't explain too many things for the formatting and install it so if you go to the vim wiki profile and we can go to VimWiki. And this is kind of where it explains the installation more fully. So you can you go through your prerequisites. They have so if you use a plugin manager, you have that option. And I thought they had a 
manual method for that, I think. I thought they had a manual method, but I might be wrong. So, but you can follow the directions for installation there, and then it basically has a bunch of screenshot examples for you to stare at, if that's your thing. <clears throat> but other than that, these also cover the basics, and then your basic commands. And you can actually map other commands to it, too. So we can go to them. Uh, it was in dot vimrc. Okay, so yeah, vimrc. Go to your vimrc. Um, I've been messing around with it. I stole mine, and I've implemented a couple other things. And taken some things out, changed some things around. So, where is it? I can I can't remember how to toggle the highlights, but that doesn't matter. So we've got the Vim wiki configs here. So we've added it in. So we've got our path, and I've set a couple of my things up differently. Um, I might change the syntax, but it does have a couple options for your syntax for Markdown standard Vim wiki syntax and so on. Um, you can set it so that it's global. I don't want to do that because I do other things other than um, the Vim stuff. And then you can change your extension that it uses. So if we go to... Where is that? So for some reason, um, with the syntax I have, it can't convert it for whatever reason. But... Um, so if we go and look at our options for changing wiki syntax. So yeah, VimWiki, Markdown, and MediaWiki are your three options for that. And you just like put that in in lower cases there. And it'll let you do it. So I could go in and I could go... VimWiki if I wanted to, which I do kind of use for my links and stuff. And it does do that. I don't know why I have Markdown exactly, but that was my initial thing when I did it. But basically, I've forgotten about this, like, kind of for note-taking when I'm, like, here on the computer. Because I don't always have my bullet journal on me. And the bullet journal is wonderful for those things, like when you're out in the wild and out and about, if you've got it on you. It's a good place to like mark things down and take certain notes. But the Vim wiki also helps, and you can migrate back and forth between the two as you need to, so you have all your notes um, available. And if you're one of those people that doesn't like pen and paper, but you can stand doing like weird oh command line tui stuff and you want to keep track of notes vim wiki is an excellent way to do that other people like their org mode implement like org mode implementations in vim and then there's other things i think for the most part vim wiki has most of that covered so you can bet a few dollars on um vim wiki being able to do that from to do's to just plain old notes and linking and things like that. So VimWiki is a great use of your note-taking space. And being as it's all in plain text, you can pretty well bet that it's going to be like low need. And if you need to add images to your notes and convert it to HTML, you do have that option. There are a ton of those options if you just like take a look at the github page and the vim wiki stuff it'll tell you all about it and you can even check the documentation inside of vim i changed my mouse dpi to really freaking high okay so yeah you can sit here and you can go through the vim wiki stuff the documentation i think the best documentation you're going to get that's going to show you examples of what things are going to do is going to be the help pages inside of Vim itself. So go have a look at those. Um, all of my shill links and stuff are 
down in the description and you can check out the other stuff that I do. Those links are down in the description. And if you're really feeling gracious, I accept money. But that if you're feeling really gracious, I appreciate it and that kind of thing. It lets me focus on improving the content rather than having to turn to somewhere else to distract me from creating better content and doing the stuff that other stuff that way that helps me focus. So I will see you in the next one.